Hello, my name is Mark Janaud. Welcome to the Cybersecurity Show. In this video, let's talk about Flipper Zero and hacking you know, traffic lights <laughs> so we can speed through the traffic, speed through traffic. So I'm gonna break it down in this story right now. So let's, without further ado, let's get right into it. You know, we're going dark. So the Flipper Zero has a built-in sub gigahertz radio that lets the device receive data or transmit it with the right firmware in approved regions on the same wireless frequencies as key fobs and other devices. Most traffic preemption devices intended for emergency traffic redirection don't actually transmit signals over RF. Instead, they use optical technology to beam infrared light from vehicles to static receivers mounted on traffic light poles. Perhaps the most well-known branding for these types of devices is called Opticom. Essentially, the tech works by detecting a sp uh, specific pattern of infrared light emitted from the mobile infrared transmitter, the MIRT, M-I-R-T, installed in a police car, fire truck, and or ambulance when the MIRT is switched on. When the receiver detects the light, the traffic system then initiates a signal change as the emergency vehicle approaches an intersection, safely redirecting the traffic flow so that the emergency vehicle can pass through the, uh, the intersection as if it were regular traffic and potentially uh, avoid a collision. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me reach 10,000 this year. Because the RF radio in the flipper won't work in this scenario, Fairly instead looks to the device's general purpose input slash output, which is also known as GPIO pins. The flipper zero can actually generate electrical pulses to these GPIO pins, and its built-in frequency generator can determine how quickly the pulses are sent. This, is, this allows the flipper to control an external set of infrared LEDs sourced from an old security camera along with the octa the opto sorry opto coupler and separate battery pack by pulsing the lights 14 hertz or 14 cycles per second effectively mimicking an opticom transmitter without complex hardware or programming one doesn't necessarily need a flipper to build one of these devices theoretically the same device could be cobbled together out of some custom circuitry in fact they have been in the past see the uh dirt mert dirt mert but the flipper packages everything up in an easy to use device that can be repurposed for other legitimate shenanigans. For the record, building and using one of these transmitters as a member of the general public isn't exactly a good idea, nor is it legal. It's best treated like something read in the anarchist cookbook unless you want to end up in prison for six months, that is. But for those in a possession where they are authorized to use the devices as part of their work, Fairley's example serves as a low-cost proof of concept for agencies that don't have tons of cash to spend on first-party transmitters. Now, let's talk about a micro-statement, right? My video is proof of concept, Fairley said. Here's another statement. I received feedback from a volunteer fire department that was looking for a low-cost low solution to equip their personnel with the 3M Opticom units that GTT sells to city fire departments cost 5000 each. Not all fire departments have that kind of money to spend on MERT devices. To top it all off, these do-it-yourself MERTs aren't guaranteed to work either. <laughs> Isn't that wow, right? Many cities with you know, newer traffic preemption systems configure them so they are encoded and log the vehicle requesting their preemption as well as when failed and successful preemption attempts are made. But hey, it's fun to dream about never hitting a red light again, right? So what do you think about this story? Uh, how dangerous is it from a cybersecurity perspective and, and a, uh, a physical perspective that people can control, uh, you know, traffic lights with the flipper zero? I mean, the, it would be mayhem out here. Uh, <laughs> it would be may mayhem out here. But I do like the fact that uh, they, you know, the, one of the purposes of this device is, you know, uh, cutting, helping, cutting the cost of our fire departments. You know, we, we need our fire department now. You, you guys know that. Uh, so, um, but however, uh, you know, we have to be very cautious with this kind of uh, capability. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. We gonna get ten thousand this year. Please hit that notification bell. I appreciate your viewership and. See you on the next video.